Hi, this is Thomas Johnson, Director of Tennis at Seacom. I hope you guys have been enjoying all our social media posts. Some of the highlights include Alex's doubles tips on Thursday, fireside chat with Josh on Fridays, and of course, Facebook Live with me, yours truly, on Saturdays at 11. See you soon. It's Monday, and we're gonna do a full body workout. We're gonna do six exercises, so let's do it. I love push-ups. They're one of the most common and efficient exercises you can do for your upper body. They work on your pecs, triceps, and anterior deltoids. You'll notice I'm holding a racket, but the only reason is that I miss playing tennis. I start in the prone position with my back straight, then I raise and lower my body. To make them more difficult, go down slowly and come up slowly. You can do three sets of 12, or in this case, I do them for about 30 seconds. The next exercise is a squat. Squats benefit your leg muscles, specifically your quadriceps, hamstrings, and calves. As always, I have a racket in my hand. I think a racket's my security blanket nowadays, but it also helps me maintain my focus and form. To begin, I lower my hips from a standing position and I keep my back flat. To make it more difficult, you can use a medicine ball or some type of weighted object you have around the house. Do three sets of 12 or what's comfortable for you. In this modified V-Up, I once again use my racket to help with form and balance. V-Ups focus on the lower and upper abs, help train your core stability, and strengthen your lower back. I start on my back with my arms extended perpendicular into the air. My feet are together and I try to keep my legs straight. Then I raise my legs into the air and thrust them straight up. I come down slowly and repeat. To make them more difficult, try to keep your toes pointed. Try three sets of 12. Planks are one of my favorite exercises and are a great complement to V-Ups. They work your entire core, strengthening your spine, rhomboids, traps, and abdominal muscles. To begin, start on all fours, bend your elbows, align them directly under your shoulders, and then straighten your legs so your body is in a straight line. I demonstrate for 30 seconds, but my goal is to work my way up to two minutes. Try doing about three sets. Have you noticed I still have my racket? Forward lunges are great for tennis players. They strengthen your quads, glutes, hamstrings, calves, core, and they improve balance. I start in the ready position for volleys and I step forward with my left leg, keeping my knee over my ankle while almost touching my right knee to the ground. And then I set the racket for a forehand volley. Then I do the same thing for the backhand side. Make sure you keep your form and take your time. To make them more difficult, carry a light weight in each hand. Three sets of 12 is a good goal. In this modified Russian twist, which focuses on the internal and external obliques, I use a racket as a way to maintain my form, and I just like having a racket. As you can see, I start with my ankles interlocked, my back off the ground, and then I simply twist back and forth. To make it more difficult, you can use a medicine ball or some type of weighted object you have around the house. You can do three sets of 12, or in this case, I do it for 30 seconds. Well, that was fun. If you do those every other day, you'll be ready to go once we get back on the courts. See you soon.